I assume you got lip injections. I assume you're intimidating because you have RBF. I needed a white claw for the rest of these. Welcome or welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, what's up? I'm Courtney. I asked you guys to send me your assumptions about me over Instagram and Snapchat and we are here to find out what you guys said about me. So, should be interesting. Let's just get to it. First assumption, you don't put up with people's shit. No, I do not. No, huh? <laughs> I assume that you are a little baddie. What is a baddie even? I'm gonna Google it. Oh shit, a girl who's always slaying the game and always on fleek. Basically a girl who is extremely put together and looks phenomenal even on her bad days. Super kind of you, thank you for thinking I'm a baddie. I don't know if I'm a baddie, maybe. I try to be a baddie, let's be honest. I'm not gonna say I don't try. Next assumption, I assume you're intimidating because you have RBF. Yes, um, I do think I have RBF, like, bad. Yeah, it's, it's pretty bad. So, yeah, I could see why some people are intimidated to come up to me. Yeah, I would probably be intimidated myself. But, once you come up to me, you will realize that, like, I'm pretty, I'm, I'm, I try to be a pretty sweet and genuine person. I think I'm nice. Yeah. I know I'm nice. What am I saying? I'm freaking nice. Just come say hi. I needed a white claw for the rest of me. I assume that you like pretty boys that don't like to get their hands dirty. That's false. If the man is scared to get his hands dirty, then <laughs> bye 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 I feel like I came from a family that like does their own shit and isn't scared to get down and dirty. So like that's obviously the man that I'm going to be attracted to. Like if something's wrong with my car, I like I want to be able to have you go out there and look at it and like somewhat freaking know what's going on under the hood. Can mow the lawn? Dudes. Dudes. If you expect us to cook and clean for you, at the least you can do is mow the lawn, my dude. It's the least you can do. No pretty boys here, my friends. No. Ah, uh, someone said that I assume that you were very beautiful and talented. That's so sweet. Thank you. Okay, this isn't an assumption, but are you going back blonde? And I love you. You're so beautiful. Stay safe. Thank you so much. I love you too. Um, yeah. So about the whole blonde thing, I actually recently just dyed my hair black. So I feel like once you go black, you never go back. You know what I'm saying? Cheers. This is the new lemon white claw. It's actually not not that bad anyways the hair yes so i don't know i look back at pictures of myself with blonde hair and obviously if you look back at something you're gonna want it so whenever i see myself with blonde hair i want blonde hair but then i remember how damaged my hair was and how many times i had to just freaking chop it off because of how damaged it was like i will insert a picture right here of a year ago today my hair was that short that damaged i just had to chop it off because i bleached it so many times so many times and now if i have my hair down it's it's to like here and it's healthy it's not dry it's not damaged so that's why i'm loving this dark hair so i really don't know if i'm gonna go back blonde anytime soon actually comment down below what you guys think i should do i assume your mom is very sweet she is. Mom! Hi! Hi! This house is so small. Yes, she's very, very sweet. And I love her so much. She's my best friend. Somebody assumes that I'm sweet. Um, I try to be. I try to be. Thank you. I haven't eaten dinner yet. This is gonna hit me hard. I assume that you don't care what other people think about you. You're unapologetically yourself. Yes, girl. 110% I could not give a damn what people think about me obviously you do to an extent but like at the end of the day if you're happy with who you are and the things that you do and it makes you happy then why should you care about anybody else you know what I mean don't waste your time on that like if it's if you see something that's making the person happy why can't you be happy for them why do you have to send them hate or I don't know make them feel bad for something that's making them happy I just think that's so ridiculous 
just try to move past it because you're great and whatever makes you happy just keep doing it boo because you're thriving you are thriving we're thriving cheers <laughs> i assume that you have the funniest coolest prettiest just all around most amazing sister-in-law that is correct her name's aislaine and she's beautiful i assume you got lip injections <laughs> cheers to that one you guys cheers to that they're natural I was born with these bad boys. No, I did not get lip injections. I have not done anything to my face. The only plastic surgery that I've ever had or done anything to is my ear right here, this bad boy. Because I had so much cartilage there, it just freaking hurt to even sleep on. So I got it removed. And then I had some skin taken out and like tried to lift up my ear. You know what? But it didn't work. It's fine. Moving along. You passed the vibe check. Thanks. I assume that you make YouTubes and shit because you're creative. Well, thank you very much, kind sir or gal, I don't know who you are, but thank you. I make YouTube videos because it's fun to me. Um, I feel like maybe some people can relate to my life and they might sit there and be like, damn, girl, me too, me too. I just make it because it's fun and I want to inspire people to do what they love and what makes them happy. So here I am doing that for you guys, making content and drinking alone. Actually, I'm not drinking alone. I hope you guys are drinking with me. Cheers. What did they say else? <laughs> You're creative. Oh yes, um, I try to be, thank you. Um, I get a lot of ideas from other YouTubers. My friend, my best friend is so creative. Maddie, if you're watching this, you're so creative. Um, I get a lot of ideas from her. I feel like her and I, we like, bounce back and forth with each other we're just like boom creative idea boom creative idea boom 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 and it's just just a bunch of like a creative bubble just like above both of our heads when we're together it's insane but we'll love her to death i assume you're bougie af you know can we just define bougie for a second High class flossin ballin, one who possesses swag. Is that me? You know what? <laughs> I'm probably a little bit bougie, okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm probably pretty bougie. I'm oh, not. Cheers. Oh my goodness. You live off of your parents. Cheers. No, actually, I, I don't, but. I do, in a way. Well, let me clear that up for you. Okay, so basically, I live with my parents. I'm 21 years old. Hi, how are you? 21 years old. I live with my parents. I don't have to pay rent. Thank you, Lord. I do not have to pay rent because some people do, and I don't know what I would do if I had to pay rent. Um, I have booth rent as it is. Booth rent is not cheap. Um, for those of you who don't know, I am a cosmetologist and an esthetician, so I do have booth rent. I pay for that on my own. That's my own money coming out of my pocket. Um, yeah, I do have my own job, so if I want to go out and buy things, clothes, jewelry, if I want to get my hair done, my nails done, like, that's all on me. My parents do not pay for that. Um, I also pay for my own gas. Um, I do not have a car, though, so my parents are kindly letting me drive one of their cars. They have three of them. So I get to drive one of them for free, which is just super, like, thank you very much. I was super close to buying my own car, but something happened with my job, and I had to quit, and now I am where I am now. I also get food for free. Like, they don't make me buy my own groceries. <laughs> That's nice. Cheers. Is that it? Tattoos? All oh, my tattoos? My parents don't pay for my tattoos. Are you kidding? They don't even like my tattoos. My mom likes my tattoos. My dad... I think he likes my tattoos, but he prefers if I don't have them. <laughs> I assume negative comments don't affect you. Um, you assume correct. No, they do not. Um, I personally, seriously, look at the like message from the person and I laugh. I literally sit there and laugh. And I'm like, what? Like, some people, the fact that you really are sending this to somebody who is happy and doing what they love and it makes them happy, the fact that you're sitting there trying to make them feel bad for that just like baffles me and it blows my mind that somebody is so low in their life that they have to do that to other people that's all it is they're just so low in their own lives um that they see you doing great and you happy and like doing things that you love and then they have to like tear you down for it because they're not happy <laughs> they're not doing what they love so 
I just personally don't let it affect me. I could freaking care less. I'm sitting on a remote. But anyways, like I was saying, I think this one person like slid up on my Instagram poll and she's like, when do you know when enough is enough? <laughs> Cheers to that. Like clearly I don't sister because I'm still posting stories and I'm still making polls and I'm still posting the shit that I like, the content that I like, hoping that other people are gonna like it. If they don't, then that's fine. Seriously, you can literally unfollow somebody in one click of a button. One click of a button, that's like crazy. So yeah, do that if you don't like my shit. I don't know, if you don't vibe with me, that's totally cool. I'm not asking you to vibe with me. If you don't vibe with me, like whatever, unfollow me. That's all it is, sister. That's all it is. And that is the tea. Cheers. Assumption, I feel like you're picky when it comes to guys. <laughs> yes. Like, why wouldn't you be picky? Honestly, I've never met a girl that isn't picky about guys. <sighs> Coming from my last relationship, I should probably be a little bit picky with guys. Not that like anything was wrong with that relationship, but I feel like it just taught me to be more pickier with guys, if that makes sense. Like, oh, let me tell you, the next guy who tries to, you know, be with me or be anything with me has come in for him. He's got it in store for him. Cheers to that. Just because your girl has been through it. Okay, so this is an assumption, but somebody said, I dig ya, I miss ya, and I think you're a beautiful girl with an even more beautiful personality. It's hard because you are so gorgeous. Like, thank you so much. What? Also, like, don't be anonymous. Slide into my DMs. <laughs> is an assumption, but I snapped you drunk once and now I feel weird about it. <laughs> Don't feel weird about it, dude. Girl, like, girl, guy, whoever you is, I feel ya. Like, shit happens, dude. I am somebody who is not gonna make you feel awkward for anything. I am, like, the least awkward person, even in situations that might be awkward. I try to make them not awkward. So, yeah, like, I do not care. Snap me if you're drunk. Snap me if you're sober. Snap me if you're in between. Snap me if you're buzzed. I don't freaking care. Snap me when you want to snap me. I assume you party a lot. <laughs> this is the tangerine one. Cheers. It tastes like a... Like a... A cutie. A clementine. An orange. If you will. No, I don't party a lot. Um... Obviously, I'm 21, so I would say I go to the bars quite often. Not like a lot, but like often. Um, there's these things called power hour. <laughs> if you know what power hour is, yay. Yeah. It's called power hour. Um, and it's basically where you can get a drink for a dollar. <laughs> it's crazy, right? It's crazy. So, um... Yeah, my friends and I go to Power Hour a lot. That's on Thursday nights um, at one of our favorite bars here. Other than that, I'm probably at home with Maddie watching a movie and maybe drinking like some Moscow Mules or something. Because like Moscow Mules are my shit. It's going to make me so bloated. Okay, next assumption. I assume you have a crush on someone right now. No. No. Cheers to that. Single Pringle. Doesn't mean people aren't hitting me up. Don't get me wrong. I don't know what's wrong with me. I just don't talk to people. <laughs> I leave people on open. What's wrong with me? I think I'm so lonely and here I am looking at my Snapchat and I've left everybody on open. Sorry people watching this video who Snapchat me and I left you on open. I sincerely apologize. <gasps> it's Maddie! Why does my face look like this on FaceTime? What is happening? Hi! How's filming going? Oh my god, so good. Shut the frick. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up! Maddie! Dude, I got bored. Oh my god, I love you so much. You look so pretty. I didn't even watch a tutorial. I just did it myself. I am so proud of you. I what? Like, I just want to try using this rice pudding. I was doing all those jokes. Oh, you don't even you haven't seen my snaps yet. No. I sent you like 12 videos. I was trying different JoJo Siwa hairstyles because she has a D1 boyfriend and I'm single. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> I was like, maybe if I can figure it out, I will, you know, meet someone. And I was totally just joking. But I sent you a bunch of videos 
And then I sat there and looked in my mirror and I have one and I was like, I want my hair to be this long when I put it in a ponytail. And I did the whole two ponytail thing to make it so Shut up. Long, oh you know? my god. And then I was just sitting there and I was like, I should make Courtney proud of me. I didn't do my face makeup, but Oh my god, I'm so proud of you. What? That looks like an eye look I would do. Good for you. Oh my god, I'm so proud of you. What the hell? Oh I my god! Proud of me. I was so shocked when I answered. I was like, hold up. She's literally wearing makeup. Like, what? Maddie just said to me, she is so cute. She literally did her makeup by herself. Oh my god, I'm so proud of her. Maddie, if you're watching this, I'm so proud of you. You did your makeup so good, and I can't wait until we're out of quarantine and I can come over and do your makeup. I have like three palettes I want to give you, so I'm going to give them to you, even if you don't want them. I'm going to give them to you. They're going to be in your drawer, and I'm going to do your makeup. So... I think I answered all the assumptions to this video. I think that basically comes to an end. I'm on my second White Claw. This is the tangerine one. I think I said that like three times. I don't know. Look, people are snapping me. Maybe I'll Snapchat them back if I'm feeling, if I'm feeling up to it. <laughs> there was another one. Okay. Yeah, I just need to like learn how to Snapchat people back. Shit, cheers. Oh, I'm so not like a White Claw drinker. Need to go eat something. <sighs> this ring light makes me hot. All right, you guys, so that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you sat down and had a drink with me or something if you are at the age of 21. If not, I hope you sat there and drank your orange juice. Um, No, but I hope you guys enjoyed. I have not eaten since around noon and it is currently 8.14, 8.14, wow. Okay, so yeah, I definitely need to eat something. Um, So I'm gonna go and eat, but um, you guys should definitely Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed and if you haven't already hit that subscribe button down below baby and join the wit fam i'd love to have you here hashtag get with it did i really just do that yeah i did hashtag so yeah with that being said i will see you guys in my next video i assume you're boozy oh well one clip of don't forget the don't forget to give this video that I just learned my words. <laughs> Shit. Feel me? Yeah, yeah. See my peanut butter jelly stack. Pull it right, bust it up.